Hey guys, welcome to Hollow Mechanics. Today we're going to be talking about the Getrag Power Shift, the 7 DCL 750 infamous weep hole leak. Uh, it's very common on Ferraris, Mercedes. I'm sure the Ford GT will have it as well. And it's actually a design flaw by Getrag. Um, it's not that hard to fix. You have to be a level three DCT repairman. I do recommend you know you change the speed sensor if the car is over six years old while you're in there, but. Um, this is what it's gonna look like. You may come out to your car and notice oil dripping in the back. Uh, and uh, if you remove the diffuser, you can see the weep hole here and the drip that's formed. You can also see below the car where the oil is like been running away from the car. that was on a 488 with about 9,000 miles so uh, it's seven years old super young car uh, with the miles but again like I said before uh, time is harder uh, in this case it's a design flaw uh, if you start the car you'll see it actually dripping out as long as the car is running like this and the reason for that is it's actually a clutch fluid that is pumped from the clutch system into the gearbox area there are two special seals on the main shaft but that main shaft bearing there is cooled by clutch fluid so when the car is running it's actually pumping fluid into that area and that's why it's only leaking when it's running if you see a little bit of seepage from that weep hole uh, on an older car that that can be normal but if when you start the car you're seeing an active leak or when the car is off you see it just like puddled like that but not dripping it's it is an active leak and it is a problem uh, here's why this leaking is that this bearing right there is held in by this tiny little clip and it pushes these seals out pushes the inner one back so what we're going to do is uh, heat it, heat the case, push the bearing in further, like back in its seat, so you can remove this, and then heat the case again and hit the bottom of the case with the rubber mallet, and it will start to shift down. And don't break that inner race, its inner race is plastic, but you're able to then pry back on the metal portion with a 90 degree pick or a 90 degree pry bar. You can see it's gonna heat. And once that comes out, you'll use uh, Loctite Retaining Compound 638, clean everything, put the Loctite Retaining Compound on, put it in there, use a little bit of heat to let it set, and then put the snap ring back in, and it'll not happen again. So this is the Loctite that um, I use. It's a retaining compound, extremely strong. It is in a red bottle, but is a green color. If you um, open it up, okay. And uh, very thin. What it's gonna do is it's gonna uh, get in between the bearing wall and the, the case and then just lock it in. It's very, very good uh, retaining compound. Make sure you don't get it in the race. Um, you can drip a little bit around it. Once you have the bearing back in its seat, go ahead and heat the case again and uh, that will let that material um, harden. And then you have to replace those special seals um, or really you should only have to replace one special seal. Um, and by the way, they both orientate the same way. Just make sure you pay attention to how it was before you removed it. Uh, if you need the seals, I do sell this seal. Reach out to me at info at hollywoodmechanic.com. Uh, if it's already pushed that uh, bearing too far back and your little lock spring is missing, um, just give me a call. I do have spare parts for that as well. Or you can buy that whole middle case from Ferrari for a few grand and then it comes with a brand new speed sensor in it already and brand new seals. Although I do remove that rearmost seal and pull the bearing and retaining compound it in just to make sure you're not gonna have the same problem in the future. Um, but yeah, it's, it's really not that big of an issue. I've never really had one damaged so bad that I couldn't repair. And since I've been using the retaining compound, I've not had any problems with them since.